Hey everybody, welcome back to Lavish Roblox. Today, I'm going to tell you about how to refund game passes in Roblox. Game passes allow Roblox developers to create special passes that can only be bought once per player using Robux. They can be used to give players special access to a restricted area, an in-game avatar item, or a permanent power-up. Since players only need to purchase a game pass once, they'll always have this special effect, even after leaving and rejoining the game. Game passes were added in September 2012. Shortly after its release, a blog post was made to give users more information on them. On April 23, 2018, the comment sections for all game passes were disabled to prevent scam bots from luring users with fake Robux sites. Unlike VIP t-shirts, game passes allow users, even those without premium, to offer exclusive in-game features without requiring the user who purchased it to wear a specific t-shirt. In addition, as an anti-fraud measure, revenue generated from Game Passes is temporarily withheld from the creator, making a Game Pass initially costs a 100 Robux fee. This fee has since been removed, and making a Game Pass is now free. We know pretty much everything about Game Passes. Let's talk about how you can refund your Game Pass. Roblox actually doesn't have a refund feature for the Game Pass. However, there is a way to technically get a refund. For example, how this person had gotten his Robux back after purchasing someone's Game Pass. Here's the story. So a player joined my game and asked me for a refund, saying that I accidentally bought your Game Pass. And I said Roblox does not have that feature and all purchases are final. So he asked if I have a group so I can do a payout to him. And I was thinking, well, you already own the Game Pass. It works like it's supposed to and it's not a scam. It's your fault for accidentally buying the Game Pass. So I told him that, and as I was saying, why don't you accept your mistake and be more careful next time? But then I thought I could do a trading method with him. This is where we explain how you do the trading method. Go to the profile of the receiver, check on the three dots, click on the three dots on the upper right edge near the person's username and additional information. This option will allow a drop down menu for you. Locate and click on the trade items in the window that starts. Choose the amount of Robux currency you want to donate. This option will open a drop-down menu for you. Locate and click on the trade items option. In the window that starts, choose the amount of Robux currency you want to trade. Note that 30% of Robux is deducted as a transaction fee. After filling in the details of the desired amount of Robux currency, click on the submit button. The user will be informed through a secret message about the successful trade. Following the steps mentioned above, you can easily exchange Robux. After doing the trading method, the person finally was able to get his Robux back and essentially got a refund. It's still strange how Roblox hasn't implemented a refund feature. The, the faster it can go, it's at least 10 hours. So yeah, it can take a little while because they have many uh, stuff to do. And then guys, you're gonna get a refund. But guys, you can't do it in in-game item if you buy like a game pass on Jailbreak or something. Well, guess here I get, went to the Bloxburg and I accidentally bought one of these. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of all of our future videos. Well, that's all for now, folks. See you later!